Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir, man. Y'all know what it is. Dr. Boxer talk to doctors in the house. Hey, so today, man, I don't even want to spend too much time on this one um, because I think it's kind of ridiculous, but I am going to talk about it because I was just a little bothered, man. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> so there have been reports about Big Baby Anderson, you know, Jared Anderson, who we just saw put on this remarkably boring performance. Boring! <laughs> I guess Riyadh Murray. <laughs> Or, or, or Mariah. M Murray or Mariah? What you getting at with the book script? Spit that shit out, man! M E R H Y or M E H R Y? I think it, I think it's M E R H Y. So I think it's Murray, Murray. But um, yeah. So then after that little terrible performance, you know he did win. You know I, I, that was probably the most dominant, unimpressive performance I've ever seen in a while. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That I've seen in a while, but um, you know, he did get the win, so I can't be too hard on him. And 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 and, and but I just felt like he should have did more against an opponent who wanted to get beat on. You know, so it's not going to get any easier than that. But after that, with that being said, man, uh, Louis King Kong Ortiz has uh, it was a mixture of him being called out by Jared Anderson and him calling out Jared Anderson. But the fact that Jared Anderson is saying that he will oblige King Kong ain't got shit on me. You know what I'm saying? He will oblige. And they're talking about potentially having a matchup with the 45-year-old Louis King Kong Ortiz. Damn. I'm sorry. And the crazy thing is, they don't even really know if he's 45. Because I could have sworn, you know, you know, he is from Cuba. And, um, you know, sometimes the documentation gets a, a little bit, um, you know, lost in translation. And, you know, he, he's been he's been accused of being 45, 45 years ago. <laughs> I remember back when he was first coming out, and uh, he's, he's a great fighter now, don't get me wrong, especially in his heyday, like I said, when when, when he was first coming out, like, um, when he was first on top, you know, about 10 years ago, uh, maybe more than that now, I remember it was a big four, it was uh, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Louis King Kong Ortiz. And he only has three losses, you know what I'm saying, two losses to Deontay Wilder, and one loss to Andrew Ruiz, same guy who beat Anthony Joshua. And, um... But 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 Lewis King Carl Ortiz, you know he um he's a good fighter, but you know he's he's he, he's he's on record as forty five. Damn, I'm sorry. Like I say, he's probably older than that. So it's just like man, big baby, he got to step up his competition, man. I feel like him even considering fighting uh and, and him and his handlers, promotional team, and all that managers considering fighting Lewis King Carl Ortiz to me is just an obvious um. It's an obvious effort to protect him further and maybe wait out the current champions and, and, and the people that are older than him, like Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Alexander Usyk, maybe wait on, wait till they're about to retire so he can finally really step up his competition and really um, try to go out there and lay his claim to the championship. But to me, that's that's kind of, uh, I don't know, man, that might bite you, in the, bite you in the butt because it just shows a lack of confidence in your champion, you know, and to me, it just shows that he's not really ready and um yeah it's just not a good look man it's not a good look at all i think <laughs> like i said the fact that, that, that those those are a whole bunch of red flags you know a whole bunch of red flags you try to fight Lewis king Kong ortiz you should really be stepping up the competition right now but y'all let me know what y'all think about that man if y'all be y'all be interested in him fighting Lewis king Kong ortiz i wouldn't um i, I think he should win but I, I, at this point i just need him to go fight philip hergevich go go fight the winner of uh of frank sanchez and ajit Kabayel. you know what i'm saying why why are we why are we you know, staying stagnant. No disrespect to Lewis King Kong Ortiz, but he's 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 not the same, man. You know, he he um, I think he a lot of people, I think he just fought in January and he won by first round knockout by some some dude we don't know. So that, that's that's a that that's a facade right there. You know, what I'm saying it's, I don't think he should be fighting. I don't think this fight should be cleared, but we'll see how it goes, man. You know, hey, y'all, let me know. We out. God bless. Peace. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Doctors out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.